Hi, my name is Pia, and in this video I'll show you how to share an Instagram post on your HTML page so that you can give a sample of what it looks like in your HTML. So how do you do this? First of all, um, since I'm working on my code, I will access Instagram and my Instagram account uh, via my browser. So I'll go to Instagram.com and log in. And then uh, you can see whatever post you have on Instagram. Now, uh, if I want to share uh, one of my images with whoever is watching uh, my web page, then uh, you can go to your post. And here it is. This is what we would like to share. But how do you do this? If you see this kebab menu here, try to click it. Here you can see how to share it. You can copy a link or you can embed it. If you copy the link, you get like the link to the page. It is nice, but actually we want to embed it so that we can show what things look like on Instagram. So in this case, I will click on embed. And in Danish it's in uh, but uh, I guess that in English it will be embed. Then you can see some code on the top here. And if you click the big blue button, then the code has been copied. Now the next step will be to get this code into your HTML. Here I would go to my trusted old um, editor. This is Atom. Imagine that this is an HTML document with head and foot and somewhere in the body. You will add this code. Now you can see that while we are working on a local system, the content does not show up. It's because the code that we have uh, posted here uh, needs to reside on a server. As soon as it's on a server, you will be able to see the content. But don't just take my word for this. Let's try this in practice. Here you see my uh, WordPress sandbox. And um, in WordPress, you can add some custom HTML. And this would be the same as I showed you before, just adding a little bit of HTML into a web page. But now we are on the server, so this makes everything easy. Here I will look for HTML. Oh, and you can see that you can add a little bit of custom HTML here. And then in this field, if I write this, that's actually all you have to do. Now we can click on preview and then we'll preview it in a new tablet or thingy here. And here you see this is my social media post and uh, it comes directly from the API of the social media. So in this way you can add an Instagram post to your web page in order to show how you worked with your stuff. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can like below. Bye bye.